Hi YouTube. Um, it's me Kylie again with another book haul. And you really need to start like reading a lot more of these books. But I just keep getting them. So here are some of the books that I got mostly today. <laughs> so the first book that I got today was Rosamund by Beatrice Small. So I am very slowly reading um one of the other books in this this is a series this is I believe the first one of a series um which is about a family um that has a manor called Friars Gate um, which lies in the wild Cumbrian border between England and Scotland um, it's a lot about like the inheritance of that, and it's during the reign of um, between like Catherine of Aragon and like Elizabeth of York and all sorts of other people, but it is mostly romance. <laughs> so I I'm slowly <laughs> I'm currently reading another one of these of this series with my mom. We're like reading it aloud back and forth because I ended up having two copies of that one. But I um, don't know if it tells me the name of that one in here. May not. But this is all about like the Friars Gate inheritance. Which is cool. Another book I got is The Girl Who Played with Fire by Stieg Larson. So, I want you guys to let me know, for anyone who's read this book, should I start reading this right away, or should I wait until I get the first one? Uh, because I haven't read any of them. They just sound really interesting. Um, so should I wait, and I believe, I think the girl with the Dragon Tattoo was the first one. And I was hoping to read that one before the book or movie came out. But now I have this book, so should I wait and read them in order? Or am I safe to jump right in on this one? What do you think? Another book I got is a hardcover version of The White Queen. I just finished reading The Red Queen, which I mentioned, I believe, in my last haul video, um, and I most recently got an audiobook of The White Queen, so I just like having the, um, hardcover, or, well, this is a soft cover, paperback, but I like having, like, the hard copy book as well, especially, at least to put on my shelf. <laughs> I don't know. Is there other people that are like that? Do you buy extra copies of the book just so that it'll match with like other ones in a set? Or would you just have, say, like an audio book and a physical book and something else all just mixed together? What do you think? I'm very into having them all match when they're sitting on my shelf. So, I don't know. So this will go on my shelf with Red Queen. And I might actually read it, too. Or see if I can read along with the audiobook and see how much it actually matches. Another book that I got, um, also by Philippa Gregory, which is who wrote The White Queen. I also got The Other Bowling Girl, which I saw this movie a while ago, um, but I'd never read the book itself. So I figured I'd get it and give it a try. I really like um, the genres and, um, writing of Philippa Gregory, among other people, for historical fiction. So, I'm going to give this out a try. It's a little thicker than some of my other ones, so it might take me a while. But we'll see how that goes. Um, along that same line, I then got The Bolin Inheritance, which is also in the same series. It is, as you can see, much thinner, though. So I'm more apt to you read this one just because I don't know the story as much since I've seen the movie of the other one, but 
as with any other book. Probably the movie is nothing like the book or cuts out a lot of things. But please leave a comment below telling me what you thought if you read both the book and watched the movie. And if you thought, without maybe giving away too much detail, if you thought they were very similar or if really I should just read the book and forget the movie completely or vice versa. Um, another book that I got, um, I've been hearing a lot about these graphic novels, but I've never read one. Um, I like comics <laughs> in the paper, but I've never read, like, a graphic novel. So, so I found this one, which is Artemis Fowl, the graphic novel. Ugh. Um, and I thought, that was neat, because I, when I was younger, I read a lot of the Artemis Fowl our Artemis um, books. So I thought, why not see it in a graphic novel? And the pictures are really cute. They're not cute, but they kind of really show things. Maybe not exactly how I imagined them when I was reading the book, but also very neat to see. So I'll see how that goes. And it should be a fairly quick read, which I'm also interested in, since I'm trying to do. Um, the 50 books challenge, where you read 50 books in a year, which I'm probably not going to get anywhere near it, but I figured since last year I read like 25 or something books, and I only started in like July, that I'm hoping that maybe I'll be able to this year do 50 books, but really, <laughs> I don't know how realistic that is, but I'll try anyways. So. Always looking for ones that are short, <laughs> but not like completely children's books, because that's just not the way it goes. Um, another challenge that I'm doing that I also tried to start last year, but it didn't really pan out, um, is the alphabet challenge or something, where you're reading. the alphabet challenge where you read one book for every letter of the alphabet using the title of the book as the for each letter. So say I read the Bolin inheritance. That would be a B because the doesn't really count. It would be B. And like the other Bolin girl would be an O book and so on. So I realized that I don't have a single Z book in my collection at all. Nor do I really know of any off the top of my head. So I've been like searching around um, discounted books and like discount stores and stuff to find a Z book. So I think I found one. Whether I like it, I don't know. But this is a book called Zombies, or Bimbos and Zombies by Sharon McCrum. And at first I was like, oh, it's so close because it's got a Z, but it's not the beginning of the words, or at the beginning of the title. But I found out in this book is actually two separate books one about bimbos and one about zombies. So, for my Z book, I'm going to be reading Zombies of the Gene Pool. Now let me know if you have read this story, or book, or anything else by Sharon McCrum, and might be able to give me some ideas of what I'm in for. It doesn't seem overly long, so that's good, just in case <laughs> I don't really like it, and I'm just doing it for the Z or Z books. Um, and mm, a couple other books that I didn't get today but I got a few days ago um, is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. 
I've heard a lot about this book. And it's really short, so I'm interested in reading it. Um, I also went a few years ago, I guess, uh, to a drama play kind of that was based on this book. So I wonder how much they actually took from this book and how much it's just it was totally different. So I'm looking forward to read that. It'll be a good F book. <laughs> Another book that I got more recently is Water for Elephants. I heard this book was really good and it got some awards, I think. Uh, and also because there's the movie that was based on it. I didn't see the movie yet, so I'm excited to read this book and then I will maybe watch the movie and see how it works. Because I can't read. It's harder for me to read or to watch a movie and then read the book because I kind of already know what happens and because I'm a very slow reader. I tend to not be as interested in finishing a book if I know how it ends. So, I'm going to read this one and then watch the movie. Or at least I'll try. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but add it to the pile. <laughs> um, and another book that I got, oh, actually I got a while ago. Um, it was an ARC, or an Advanced Reader's edition or copy um, that I got in the summer from Goodreads as a giveaway, so thanks to them. <laughs> but I just haven't got a chance to read this book. So it is The Language of Flowers and by um, Vanessa Diefenbach. And apparently this has been like a really popular book where it received some awards and was rated like the top in its category or whatever for um, the Goodreads 2011 awards. So I'm excited to read it and it sounds really interesting. Um, I'm always interested in like what, like the meaning behind things and like especially like the meaning behind like flowers and types of flowers and stuff. Uh, so I'd be I'm interested in seeing what it's all about. So I'm going to hopefully read this book really soon. Because I feel bad that I want it and then I haven't got a chance to read it yet. I have a couple other ones that are the same issue I'm having. I got them a while ago and still haven't read them. Sorry. I will though. I will definitely read all the books that I've won. Not that I've won that many. But I will definitely read them. Count on that. This might take me a while. <laughs> and just so you know, an update, I guess. Um, the book that I'm currently reading is The Wind in the Willow by Kenneth Graham. I mentioned this in another video a little bit that I was reading it. I'm currently on page 100 of like almost 180 or so. It's really small. So I should be done with this soon. If I've been moving and just been extremely busy and haven't got a chance to finish reading. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. I think a lot of people had to read it for school or something of that nature. I never had to read it for school. Um, but I think as a child I might have watched some like cartoons or whatever that were based on this or a movie or something. I don't know. Cause I, kind of seems familiar, but I'm pretty sure I didn't read the book. But now I will. Um, yeah, and I've been excited to read it for a while just to see what it's all about. Mm. Even though it is considered more of a child's classic. But, like it so far, let me know if you had to read this as a child or if you just read it for fun, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, I might do a more, I don't know if I'll do a review video on it, so you let me know if you want to see me review this book when I'm done reading it, or if you think it's just not worth it, as if it's like been done so many times. I don't know, so let me know, and please don't forget to subscribe um, so you can see when I post new videos. Um, 
I'm hoping to eventually get to more of a schedule where I'll post certain things on certain days or just post every so many days. Um, but right now, I just moved for college placement. So it's been a bit hectic and um, my schedule is a bit off. But hopefully I'll write that soon enough. So, thanks for visiting, and hope you come back soon. <laughs> Bye.